Hey everyone, it's Dolphin Treasure here, and welcome to this week's little gaming video. Welcome to a game that's called No Response. I'm not exactly sure what it's about, I haven't watched any videos on it, but from what I'm gathering, we were in a car crash, and we need to find a way to contact somebody, but we cannot use our phone because it was damaged in the crash somehow, and there's a log cabin in there, and this actually seems more like a really, maybe not a really super serious game, but more on the serious side, if you will. I'm not exactly sure how long it is, and I found it on itch.io. If you guys want to go check it out for yourselves, links are in the description box, of course. Go give it a shot, go give it a try, tell me what you think, all that fun stuff. I don't know exactly what to expect from the game. I don't think there's any horror elements in it. I think what this game is, it's more of a soul-searching kind of a game, and it's actually really pretty. I don't know, let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm actually really intrigued. I'm actually really interested. So, let's just jump in. I am pressing A. Do I need the controller? No response. Oh, are we actually... No, not yet. Okay, not yet, not yet. Reaching down for my phone. Hmm, did anyone send me any dick pics today? Please say no, please say no. Hmm, doesn't look like I can talk to anybody. Okay, but the oh, there's a cabin in the distance with some fire coming out of it. All right, cool, cool. Okay, am I actually playing now? I am. Uh, can I? Okay, I can use my mouse to look around. I can use. Ooh, man, I'm slow. Ooh, man, I'm slow. Can I run? Hold the right mouse button to view your phone. Set up the right one. Unknown, can you hear? At 6H, question mark, question mark, question mark, A question mark, I, T, O, 3, U, F, O, I, N, G, and some odd, some odd, me. Okay. Um, and, uh, oh, oh, holy crap. Like, an entire tree fell on my car. Oh, and that's, th that's where the music was coming from. It was coming from my radio. Okay, well, that solves one mystery, but the other mystery is, oh, that's what that loud bang was. That was actually lightning that struck the tree and that's why it fell on the car but there's no clouds in the sky there's no storm clouds in the sky though it's really pretty though this is really pretty okay can i jump or anything no can't jump um nope okay i can only move forward and backward all right not a big deal okay there is a map up here can i sprint can i go any faster can i go any faster Man, I am so super slow. Or maybe it's supposed to be slow, because I think this is more like an existential kind of game. Existential kind of game, if you will, I think. Oh, someone tic-tacked me. Hello. Aw, what a cute little picture. It's me and Mom. Okay, where are you? It's getting dark. Hope you're okay, my little angel. Love, Mom. Kisses, kisses. Hmm. Sparrow View, 30 miles. Owl Lake. That a direction. Okay. Hello, what's this? Can I observe it? Can I pick it? Can I do anything with it? No? Okay. Usually when you see flowers on the side of a highway like that, it usually means it's a memorial of some sort. A hubby! Your mom called, she said you haven't arrived yet. Are you okay? Text me back, please. Hearts and kisses. Well, I can't respond because my... My car... Broke my phone! I actually walked a lot farther than I thought. 
All right, I'm assuming I gotta go up this pathway, but what's in the tunnel? Can I go through the tunnel? Ooh, this is really super pretty. There was nothing for miles that way. I need help ASAP. Okay, very clever way, game. Very clever. To avoid those invisible walls, you actually put something in there that's, you know, relative to the plot and what's going on. Camping and homestead. Ooh, pretty. A little snow owl. Welcome to Owl Lake Nature Trail. You are here, and the cabin is up there. Okay, so I gotta go wind my way around. Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Okay, and what's over there, I wonder? Hmm. I don't know. Let's go find out. Hmm. I really love the color scheme of this game. It's very pretty. It's very mute, but warm at the same time. Kind of... Oh, hello? Hello there? Hi? It's my daddy! Okay. The weather... The la weather... I can't talk today. The weather wasn't great, but the trip was a breath of fresh air. Looking forward to next year's expedition, just like old times. Hmm, my daddy. That's actually really neat because my, my dad and I um, go on trips occasionally together. Like we actually, um, um, like we've we've gone camping before and we've gone white water rafting before. Oh, it was so much fun. I wish I could do stuff like that some more. Man, I love being outside and exploring around and hiking and just going on beautiful nature walks like this and just enjoying myself. Ask my husband. I have holes in the bottom of my shoe because I walk so much. It's true. I do. I have holes. Oh, hello. Hmm. Unknown. They know you're here. Huh. Who is this unknown person that keeps texting me? They know you're here. Do they know you're here? Is this purgatory right now? That's a cute little mushroom. It looks like a lollipop, but it's a cute little mushroom. Okay, so this is where the path veers off. So do I go towards the cabin first? Or do I go... Let's explore around a little bit before I get to the cabin. I don't know exactly what to expect, but I know that... What was that? I heard, I heard something. I'm not scared, I'm just like wondering what that was. It was a loud noise, like I broke a stick or something. But there was no stick. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, how... Boss, at unknown. We're holding off for the client. As of yet, there's been no response to our emails. We might need to consider the options on the project if we don't hear back. Hmm. All right. That is a really pretty butterfly. Hi, butterfly. Are you trying to fly away? I can help you, maybe. I don't know what to do. Can I? Can I help you? No? You're just going to sit there and be pretty? Okay, that's fine by me. You can sit there and be pretty. All right, I don't think this goes anywhere. Nope, it doesn't go anywhere. All righty. Well, hey, there was no harm in just, you know, exploring around, looking around. Just enjoying the shade of the trees for a moment. You know, you never know how hot it is. I mean, the sun is out and it's kind of, you know, it's at sunset or, and, uh, you know, just kind of enjoying the way. Okay, let's see what happens if I step on these sticks. Is that what I was hearing? Nope, I can't step on the stick. All right, what about this stick? Can I step on you? See, nothing happened. I heard a noise from over this way, but I have no idea what happened. I didn't step on anything, so I don't know. I'm a little confused. But that's okay. Ooh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, ow, 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 my eyeballs. Oh, but that is really nice. Oh, hello. Mom, Jane, I hope you have a good excuse for not making it to Jack's graduation. He was really looking forward to seeing you again. We all were. Ooh, so I was on my way to something very important. And I'm, yes, I'm a female, okay, and I'm married, and I haven't been able to get a hold of anybody, and I'm trying to find out if there's anyone in the cabin that can help me. I'm trying, Mom and Dad, I'm trying, I swear, I'm trying, Jack, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry I let you down, but I'm trying, trust me, trust me, I'm trying. My, my, my. 
Oh my my my. What is this? Just random fencing? Okay. Something. What's that? It's a balloon. And a beer bottle? Oh. Get well soon. Huh. Jack. Hey, remember when we went fishing and you fell in? Dad had to pull you out of the lake. Haha, <laughs> see you soon. So, Jack is my brother. There's a beer bottle. Hi. Get well soon. So, it kind of... It's kind of like I'm going through the memories. I'm kind of going through what stresses me out during the day. Like my boss randomly texting me kind of on edge about whatever project is going on that we've been... Nope. 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 That's a big nope. Nope. That's a big nope. At least for now. I want to enjoy this first. I don't want to deal with any of the stress. I was just talking about the stress. I don't want to deal with any of the stress. Okay. You know what? Screw it. Stress is a part of life. You just got to get through it. No matter how uncomfortable it makes you. Dude, two of them. Unknown. Come back, come back. Come back. Ooh. Come back. Come back, come back. Oh, is there gonna be something in front of me? I'm actually getting really nervous. Come back, come back. Oh man, that really made me nervous. So what happens if I walk back through it? Will anything happen? No. I just get stuck. Okay. Okay. Is that a metaphor for something? Metaphor for actually getting stuck in stress? And the different stresses in your life, just worrying about them too much and not being able to escape. No entry. Hmm. Man. Ooh, and it got so much darker. Ooh, who's that? Hi. Hubby, I miss you. I miss us. Remember when we first met? My having relationship problems? Hmm. Like intimate relation problems? Ooh. Hello. I brought some marshmallows and some hot dogs and buns. Okay, well, who's texting me now? Hubby, I fumbled my words when I finally plucked up the courage to speak to you. The reflection of the embers from the campfire fluttered in your brilliant blue eyes like the butterflies in my stomach. Oh, you romantic sap. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's really sweet. So that's what this is all about. And there's a lot of beer. Lots of beer bottles. Lots of beer pong. Someone's playing lots of beer pong. Holy crap. Good lord, what is that? Huh. Oh, wow. Wowie, wowie, wow. Was I a flush? Am I a flush? Oh, there's a radio. Hello, radio. Can I do anything with you? No. Okay. Hmm. Am I just, like, walking through different parts of my life? Different relationships that I have with different people in my life? Huh. Hubby. We didn't have much, but we stuck together. And when I asked the question, I wasn't sure you'd say yes. I can't believe I forgot to bring the ring. Oh. Hey, man, don't sweat it. It's okay, because you know what? That means you bought it, you still have it, and she'll get it eventually. Or whoever you decide to marry will get it eventually, so... D don't sweat it, man. Don't sweat it. Um, is there something... No, no, nothing. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting kind of teary-eyed right now. This is a very lovely game, but I have a feeling, but I have a feeling it's going to take a very, very serious turn somewhere. I just, I just have that feeling in the bottom of my gut. Ooh, I'm very close to the house. Okay. Hubby, we said we'd go back to the clearing in the forest sometime, but always had to work because it got in the way. Just as it did tonight, I should have been there with you. 
Wait, what? Oh, no. So, so I'm focused on my career. He's focused on his career. And is that putting like a, a, a distance between us because of that? Is this the cabin that we always go to? Is this... Ooh, I don't like this. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am very uncomfortable. Hi. Get well soon. Someone, f did I flatline? Whoa. Wow. Um. Thanks for playing. If you enjoyed No Response and would like to see more tales from Yarn and Spinner, please consider leaving a small donation by clicking the link below. Man. Well, maybe some other time, but not right now. Whoa. Okay, so what I'm gathering from this game is that this whole walk down the road through the woods, up to the cabin. It was all metaphorical. I want to guess that my character for this game died from that car crash, died from complications from the car crash. Not only was I reminiscing on my life memories, you know, stuff that I lived through, like with my husband and with missing um, important events in my life regarding family, um, but I was also catching glimpses and bits and pieces of what people might have been saying to me as I was lying in the hospital bed. Um, things like, come back, come back, or they know you're here, and the get well soon balloon, you know, just catching little bits and pieces of it here and there. And I wonder if that tunnel was kind of a metaphor of stepping into the light, quote unquote. But people were, they were trying to pull you back because they wanted you to recuperate from that car crash. You can kind of piece together your character's life in a way, what was important to her, what kind of got pushed aside. And it can make you reflect on your own, in your own way, like on your own life. Like what have you pushed aside or what kind of relationships do you have with people? It was a little cliche to learn that the main character, you're, you're playing the character, died in some way. But I mean... It, that wasn't really the point. I mean, that was the climactic ending of the game. But this was more about the journey on how you got to that point. If you have something in your life or you have that relationship in your life, something that you want to focus on or something that you want to think on and something that you want to make better or if there's a part of your life or part of, your, part of an aspect of your life that you want to make better, just go for it before it's too late. That's kind of what I'm getting out of it. Just go for it. Before it gets too late. It also made me like chilly in a way because of how helpless the character was. How helpless we were to not be able to respond to those messages, to not be able to interact with those that we loved or not be able to say stuff to people that we've wanted to say. It kind of reflects on how much precious time is, you know, and how, how precious time is for each and every one of us. But beautifully made, it was a beautifully made game. I really enjoyed it and the art style is gorgeous, as simple as it is. I mean, I really love the color scheme of it and I really love the design. Overall, it was a really well made game. Very well made game, I, re I really like that. I did, I, I really like that a lot. So I'm glad I got to play that. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. Really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to do awesome, be awesome, and stay awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.